Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we've done it. We've built a computer. Now, I buttoned it up. Basically, I made sure all the wires weren't dangling and they weren't hanging in the middle of nowhere, so they hit the fans. Did all that fun stuff. So now we're going to actually power it up and make sure it boots up. Plugged it into my monitor, plugged in my keyboard. And the first thing you're going to want to do is boot into BIOS. Now, a lot of times, BIOS, by the way, is your basic input-output system. It's just a way of making sure that you actually have the proper installation. Now, if you don't press the button that's required when you boot up your computer, it's going to say, select proper boot device. But that's because you didn't press delete or F1 when you booted it up. So I'm going to reset it. Is there a reset button on here? Yes, there it is. And it should flash on the screen real quick, delete. So i got to press delete to enter my BIOS. And here's my BIOS. This is a cool thing about Asus, actually. they got this awesome interface. If I look at here, my CPU temperature is running at a cool 26.0 degrees Celsius, which is nice. Motherboard's at 19 degrees Celsius. That's good. CPU voltage is all within range. And you also have your CPU fan and your chassis fan running a little bit faster on that one. Chassis fan run, one is running a little slow, but that's because it's a multi-speed. I can actually adjust the speed of that fan anytime I want. If I go down here, I can tell that it's detected my ASUS CD-ROM drive. I can even press the button, make sure it comes out. And it does. And it also has detected my Western Digital hard drive. Now, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, I, other than that, you got to install Windows. So you're putting your Windows installation disk, boot it up off of that, and run through your Windows installation. Um, I've debated whether I'm going to do a video on that or not. I may do it. So let me know your thoughts on that, actually. Leave some feedback on that, and I'll hold off on deploying this machine to whoever needs it. I'll just tell them it's broken or something. And uh, wait another week, and I'll put it together then. And if you're interested in seeing that, I'll go ahead and do it. So that's all there is to this video. We've completed the How to Build a Computer series. And the next steps are all software. This was all the hardware stuff. So like this video if you liked it. Also stay tuned. i got plenty more videos to come. And you can follow me on all the major social networks. And I will see you in the next video.